Good morning and welcome to the month of May. I am Yomi. The final round of the general elections held on Tuesday the 26th of April with the gubernatorial and state house of assembly elections. With PDP candidates emerging successful in a majority of the states, ACN swept the southwest states. There have been issues with the election results in Imo State as INEC has declared the election results inconclusive. However, we thank God for a peaceful process and for the calm that has returned to the states in the north after the post-presidential election violence. The Holy Ghost service for this month will hold this Friday the 6th of May. The theme for this service is Divine Assistance. Please be sure to attend because, as always, it promises to be an awesome time in God's presence. All workers are to be informed that there will be a workers' meeting with Daddy Gio at the Redemption Camp this May. Study outlines and teacher's guides are available at the church office. It is important every worker gets a copy of this as it will be used during the meeting. The auditions for God's Children Got Talent held yesterday, the 30th of April. The turnout was encouraging, with our godly children showcasing their gifts. There were some presentations that blew the minds of the judges and ultimately gave glory to God. Stay tuned for the next round. Now, moving on to something that has had people all over the world talking for weeks, the royal wedding. With the eyes of the world watching, Prince William and Catherine Middleton became husband and wife on Friday morning at London's Westminster Abbey. The wedding pegged the greatest and grandest royal affair since Prince Charles and Princess Diana's 1981 nuptials is the fairy tale ending to a love story thrust into the spotlight last November when the couple first announced their engagement. With brother and best man Prince Harry sporting the uniform of the captain of the household Calvary, by his side William, 28, wearing the scarlet uniform of the colonel of the Irish Guards, slipped a traditional Welsh gold wedding band on Middleton's finger, saying, With this ring I thee wed. The couple also wrote their own prayer for the occasion. God our Father, we thank you for our families, for the love that we share, and for the joy of our marriage, they said. In the busyness of each day, keep our eyes fixed on what is real and important in life, and help us to be generous with our time and love and energy. Strengthened by our union, help us to serve and comfort those who suffer. With rows of trees lining the aisle of Westminster Abbey, music selected by the couple was performed by the London Chamber Orchestra. Guests such as Elton John and Victoria Beckham were just a few of the A-listers amongst which received invitations. Afterward, Queen Elizabeth played host at a post-wedding breakfast of champagne and canapes at Buckingham Palace for 600 guests. At 7 p.m., Prince Charles threw a dinner and dance for about 300 guests in another of the palace state rooms. Before the wedding, the bride had spent her last night as a single woman in the royal suite of the Goring Hotel, a stone's throw from Buckingham Palace. William, meanwhile, stayed with his father and brother at Clarence House. Still, their true fairy tale moment was yet to come. The couple arrived on the balcony of Buckingham Palace close to 1.25 p.m. for enforcement, as we call it in the City of David. This reminds us of the great moments that couples have shared with us in the City of David while they enforced one another. As we round up this broadcast, here are some reminders. Invite at least one person to church. Make it a habit to tell people about what God is doing in the city of David. And don't forget to get your scorecard stamped when your guests attend. Weekly services will hold as usual. Please visit www.codonline.org or refer to your bulletin for more information. 
Be security and safety conscious. Do not leave your car tags in your car and be very careful with your belongings, even while seated in church. If you have anything you would like to give away, please drop it off at its new to me's desk downstairs. Because the number five stands for grace, as you go into this fifth month of the year, may God's grace never depart from your lives. May he bless you and keep you. Thank you for listening and watching. This is the City of David, where the love of God reigns and dreams come true, where legends are born and tomorrow's history is experienced today.